Hi. Oh my god! Oh, Come here. Come say hi. Oof. Oh, look who it is. Let me fucking put a hand on me. I'm gonna fucking rip your face off. The one and only. Hello. Raise your hand if this is your fourth attempt at filming this video. A while ago, I sat down and did some design prompts. And this was like back in March, February. Time is an illusion. Uh, it doesn't matter. It was a while ago, it was a long time ago. I finally sat down and cut together that footage and I figured we could sit and chill and I could talk to the camera and you could listen and we could watch Pass Kaivon make some art. I'm gonna preface what I was doing. So I use this tool called sharpen.design. So let me stop talking and actually just show you. Like I said, oh, got you. I didn't mean to get you some. <laughs> Papa. Hi, I'm Kaivon. I'm 25 years old and I love TikTok. Sue me. Anyway, I use this tool called sharpen.design. Basically, you go onto this website. You click new challenge and it gives you a randomly generated design prompt. It tells you what to design, who to design for, and then sometimes it'll throw in an extra little challenge, like do it in an hour or post it on Instagram when you're done. I do it from time to time just to keep myself sharp and to fight the ever encroaching incessant boredom that plagues me. Oh, so much. Hello? <laughs> I'm gonna show you two of them and we'll, we'll just go from there. Hi, I moved my camera because I needed to sit from the computer. We're just gonna get through this together. For the first prompt, it asked me to create a handmade logo for a hospital in Los Angeles. And I thought to myself, wow, that's relevant. So what I did initially was I pulled out the good old sketchbook and I just jotted out anything that came to mind. I looked at the shape, I wanted it to be trustworthy and dependable and strong. With healthcare, you wanted it to be clean or like sterile, modern, simple lines. And then the handmade portion of it, in my mind, it's like it needs to be either like hand drawn or you need to have some kind of calligraphy element in it. We'll see that in a second. And then lastly, when I think of LA, I either think of like the skyline or I think of trendy and cool and young and hip and what's the word? Um, gentrified but we won't go into that. With all of that, I kind of just started sketching, playing around with it. And then I realized, why not actually give this a little backstory and think about what is this actual hospital? What, who's using it? Who's going to it? What is, what does their business plan look like? And so I, I made one up because there are no rules. My worst hospital experiences are always with like urgent care or like the emergency room. So I figured, let's make that a little better. The worst part about going to urgent care, for example, is you go and you sit for who knows how long it's going to be and you're probably getting more sick in the waiting room than you are sitting at home. So I was like, what if there's a way to check in from your home using an app? Basically, you tell them what's going wrong, fill out whatever paperwork you need to, and then you get a number, basically. You get notified when you need to show up and where if you need to come in at all. Obviously, there are logistical elements that I don't have to worry about because that's not my job. Daddy, not my job. You don't do it right. <laughs> you come in, it's fast, it's easy, and you leave feeling kind of okay, you know? What's a cuter name than okay LA? I know, round of applause. I know, I'll be here all week. Thank you so much. From these sketches, I kind of chose my favorite. And so you'll see here, obvious motifs are like something rectangular, I think is what I wanted in the end. And I wanted it to have a heart for healthcare and then the calligraphy element or the hand done element. So at this point, all I did was trace it and then play around with it on the computer. And so I'm just gonna leave it up on screen and we can, we can go from there. So I will pop in from time to time when there's some things that I want you to see, but. I have some things written down that I think are more fun to talk about. Let's start with a good old catch-up session. What Kaivon's been up to. It is now, I'm filming this on Sunday, April 19th. It is day 38 in quarantine. <laughs> and I'm doing so fine. <laughs> So fine. My greatest accomplishment to date is I have single-handedly crushed a Costco-sized tub of peanut M&Ms. It's on my resume, don't worry. <laughs> I finished one and a half books. The first one, it's One of Us is Lying. It's a teeny bopper, murder mystery, death by peanuts kind of book. Long story short, they're making a TV show out of it and ask me if I'm gonna watch it. The second book I started is The Martian, the one that was made into a movie with uh, Matt Damon. 
and I'm like a third of the way into it and it already is impressing me more. So play a lot of video games. Let me tell you, my Sims are thriving right now. Very happy to report. And other than that, just proof again that there are no rules. I now go to bed around 4 a.m. and wake up whenever the hell I want to. I haven't decided if I'm happy about it, but it's happening nonetheless. If we check back in really quick here, you saw I played around with a bunch of different fonts. I wanted something that was kind of rectangular and with the idea of a house, but a little more loose. The elements that I like here, you have the O that kind of reminds me of a power symbol because it's an app and you want to play around with that. It's within a house because you're in the house when you're checking in and you get the heart element because of healthcare and the calligraphy element, obviously LA. I like to, like when I'm doing actual client work, I like to give people at least two or three different color variations once we're past like the form making stage. Once we've gotten out of black and white basically. And then the last thing that I think is really fun that I think took it home for me. I've done this in a few previous projects that basically you use elements of an illustration or a design and you can make it a repeatable pattern. And so in order to do that, you lay it out how you like it. And then what you do is you separate that square into four different squares. There's plenty of tutorials out here, so I'm not going to be too, too in depth about this, but basically you swap the left to right and then top to bottom. And then when you place that tile side by side, it, it can be repeated infinitely as you see in the finished product here. And so that is the end of design number one. Uh, scene. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. If it's not clear by my outfit change, it's been a few days. It's very hot. Coincidentally, it's the end of April and it's a solid 90 degrees outside today. I didn't sign up for this, uh, but here we are. So if you hear the fan in the background, just know that it's essential to my well-being. I think we can just get right into the next design. I did one more for you guys. I did one more for me. You guys get to come along for the ride. So this one was to design a phone background for a snack food company. I did basically the same process that I did in the, in the first design. I pulled out a sketchbook. I didn't record that portion, but here's proof that I actually did it. I wrote down the first things that came to mind and I kind of invented a company to go with this. So what I really thought was cute is what time is it when you are hungry? It's snack time. And what do you do when it's snack time? You go eat snacks. What kind of snacks? Snack time snacks. That's the name of my company. It's snack time. I thought this was also cute because it's going to be a phone background. And what am I? Say it with me. A snack. Thank you. I am a single queen. You know the fucking vibes. Fuck men these days. So on top of figuring out the company, I also gave myself an extra little challenge to play around with a different style of design. I really, really like like retro mid-century style, especially when it comes to like furniture and like interior design, but there's a whole graphic design style played around that. And so that's what I wanted to play around with this time. It's something I've never actually been asked to do before. When you're making your own parameters, why not challenge yourself? So that's what I did this time. So you'll see a little bit of me playing around with different fonts. And then the background is actually, it almost has like a, like a space theme to it. It's very Palm Springs and I'm very into it. So I'm just gonna let it play and we will go from there. In the end, I think I like how it turned out. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, first of all, thank you. It either means you like the work that I'm doing or you like my face, question mark? There's no in between, by the way. <laughs> I appreciate your time, but I do have a question for you. I wanna know, what are you doing right now during quarantine that you wouldn't normally be doing, i.e. things that you either didn't allow yourself time for or you didn't have the time for before we were forced to remain inside. <laughs> Me, I'm trying to focus more on making the kinds of content that normally take a bunch of time. I have hundreds and hundreds of self-portraits that I took over the past few months that I'm editing, videos, smaller stuff like that. I'm also trying my best to like stay fit and like I've been reading a lot. It's just a bunch of stuff that my ideal self says he does, but I'd never actually put a lot of effort into for whatever reason. I wanna know what you guys are doing. So I guess comment on this video or like send me a message on Instagram or Twitter or something. There are six of you watching this, so statistically one out of the six of you should message me. Thank you so much, Kate. Hopping back onto this here, you can see how it kind of took that space theme that I was talking about. And then I just did one more repeatable pattern. 
because I felt like a phone background, while well, you don't want it to be super busy, you don't want it to be super plain either, especially when it's just designed like this. I could have done something over an image, but I figured if it's a graphic design prompt, it should stay pretty much, you know, I wanted to make it as designy as possible. And again, I put in a few different color variations, but that is the finished product. You're welcome. Short and sweet. I was gonna say like me, but I'm neither short and I'm mainly salty, so I can't win them all, I guess. Wow, wasn't that special? This time that we had together, you and I, with each other. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Like I said, if you have a response to my question, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I don't know if any of you are like me and you've never actually commented on a YouTube video. It's just like any other social media. Other people can see it, but because I'm a little teensy weeny little YouTube boy, no one is gonna see it but me. So it's basically a direct line into my peripheral. So thank you so much for actually using that avenue if you choose to. But. I'm in the mood today to create more content and I've got so much time. So you can expect uh, another video or two from me sometime soon. So if you are interested in that at all, subscribe or follow me somewhere so that you can figure out when I'm actually posting. <coughs> oh! I just wanna thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this video, I'm so happy for you. Honestly, so happy for you. I hope you guys are staying sane and you are staying safe and you're washing your goddamn hands because I want to leave the house someday. <sighs> Don't die on me, okay? <laughs> Bye guys. Mm.